Hey, Fire Signs, I hope that you're doing fantastic. I'm just uh, doing some more studying and stuff and uh, using my new cards and working with them and uh, just trying to, uh, you know, to upload as many videos as I can to be helpful. And so I just uh, uh, did Earth. This reading is going to be your element, Fire Sign. And I'm going to go through every one of the Zodiac signs. So if you're a Fire Sign dealing with other Fire Signs, we're going to take a card for each uh, of the fire signs that you may be dealing with and so on and so forth and we'll move to air elements and if you're if you're a fire sign dealing with an airy or a, a, a leo or, or <laughs> if you're dealing with another fire sign fine what i just said but you'll get you'll get the gist of what i'm doing uh so, but we'll move to each element and each sign within the element I, i'm sorry i'm really trying to go on just a couple hours of sleep last few nights um and uh It'll be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, always keep in mind that this is either your energy or the or somebody else's energy that's causing this energy or you're on the outside looking into a situation with this energy. That's up to you to know uh, what side of the wheel or stick that you find yourself on. Uh, also, keep in mind that uh, if you're standing in your integrity, uh, then that's po that'll always be positive, and if you are not, then it will be in the negative. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started because I got to go through each uh, zodiac sign for you, fire signs. And so, if you are uh, dealing with other fire signs, fire sign, we're going to go ahead and uh, take an overall energy, which we have one that popped out. So the overall energy for all of you, fire. For whatever comes out for each one of your zodiac signs that you're dealing with is the queen of swords this is somebody who is now the queens represent uh, feminine energy and queens by right or you know that uh, have a loving side to them nurturing mothers uh, the, normally the queen of swords is a divorcee she doesn't have to be but um, she you know uh, can be so uh, if there's an if you have air in your chart or you are dealing with somebody who's airy by nature in uh, the situation that you're dealing with, the Queen of Swords coming out for uh, um, for fire dealing with other fire. This is your overall energy. Uh, this also can be somebody who has never had children as well. So um, somebody who's in authority or knows how to use the sword of truth. The the, the sword is up. Is somebody who don't put up with anything. They're loving, they're kind. Uh, she can come off uh, aloof in, in her uh, personality, uh, but you know, she is very kind and loving and caring, but she's just been through stuff and she just knows how to pull, put that energy up. So this is either your energy or somebody else's energy or somebody's watching the energy with you, fire signs. So that is the overall energy. Let's get started. So, fire signs that are dealing with Aries. What do we need to know? Fire dealing with the element of Aries. Keep in mind, Aries uh, is ruled by Mars. That is uh, passion and uh, warlike energy. Aries uh, rules over the head and the brain and the eyes area. Wow, you guys got a lot coming out here. Uh, I just seen the five of pentacles. Somebody's feeling, um, I'm going to take this one on the ground here. I put that five pentacles back, so just for an overall energy, some of you may just be feeling like you're left out in the cold here. Um, but if you're a fire sign dealing with an Aries, you got the Wheel of Fortune, which is beautiful. And I remember that Wheel goes either way. And so somebody's speaking some kind of truth, fire sign, in your situation, taking action and putting that uh, sort of truth, if they are in the upright, and making that wheel turn either way that it needs to. This is the heavens coming in and making a thing known uh, by somebody who won't put up with anything and bringing truth out because Jupiter is about the truth. All right, and uh, Aries, like I said, rules the mind, the the mind, the brain area, and the you know the head and stuff like that. So that's really thinking, and this is about thinking in the intellect or something like that. Somebody's uh, this also could be the law because this is also the law as well. Law lawyers, doctors, things like that. Fortune involved in a situation, a lot of passion. This is also a, a rules over the ninth house. And so you could have other elements uh, either in your chart or other elements involved in the situation, obviously. We're all made up of this, but this is specifically fire dealing with Aries energy. The wheels turning. 
the wheels turning in somebody's favor and it's very karmic and got to, gonna have to brace yourself some of you for balance because it does rule it's also temperance and stuff like that's alchemy it's mixture it's a uh, travel it's higher learning higher education people are getting uh, enlightened about some things with the Aries energy. So fire dealing with Aries, you got the will of fortune. All right. So um, somebody, like I said, that other card came out, a uh, film left out in the cold, and there's two people in that picture sitting there. Either somebody's put somebody through some really bad stuff, and now information's coming out, and that wheel's turning now. Um, so that's, like I said, positive or negative, whoever you are in the storyline here. All right. So fire dealing with Leo. I've got the five of swords now i just did the earth energy with sagittarius and it came out their overall energy was this i believe that's the yeah it was the earth reading element reading now so fire uh, and you are fire so either this you or you're dealing with another leo or somebody in a situation with the Leo that also has air in their chart or somebody's airy around the situation, which it, we know that because the Queen of Swords is here. Uh, this could be about a heart issue. Uh, you know, Leo rules over the, you know, this. It, it is about the heart and front stage and all that kind of stuff. It could be something going on right here, right now. Now we're, we're fixing to leave the Leo uh, the, um, um sign and go into Virgo energy as well but this could be something happening right here right now this is unbridled ambition I'm going to win without all costs and uh, so, but something truthful is coming out and sometimes you just got if somebody won't stop you got to keep keep on keeping on until the people who just won't stop finally lose and even though it's a sad thing uh, it has happened somebody has to come in and, and stop the dang thing and even though it should never happen to begin with because this is like I won but it's just like man uh, this should never got to this far uh, but it had to and it did and so you know fire dealing with uh, Leo energy um, also uh, Leo energy uh, deals with uh, the spine your upper back spinal column stuff like that stuff that is uh, helpful with you because this could be doctors and stuff as well somebody in authority that's hard energy all right fire dealing with Sagittarius and you could have all this in your chart also and uh, everybody involved in this here with you with other fire or fiery like energy all right, so fire dealing with Sagittarius. We have the six of uh, pentacles coming out, which in this uh, card is, you know, children could be involved. The six of pentacles is uh, balanced skills and sharing and reciprocity and the stuff about healing. So uh, you could have earth in your chart or you're dealing with earth in your situation or somebody with earthy natures around you. Now, uh, the six of pentacles in the regular rider weight have the skeleton of justice within that that also is an airy energy you know uh, stuff like that um, so if you are dealing with matters of legalities and health issues or bank uh, systems and earthy like energy uh, if you're in the upright this is a favorable card coming in with truth with justice with information um, a Sagittarius rules over the liver and so this is about your life is what I'm getting as well uh, with that uh, energy here. This is very positive. Like I said, if you're in the upright, this is very positive what's happening. Fire with Sagittarius energy. All right, we're going to move on. i got to keep track of my time. And fire dealing with air signs. Fire with air signs, please. What does fire and air need to know? So fire signs, if you are dealing with Gemini. Oh, you know what? I put that queen of uh, swords back for the overall energy. Hold on just a second. Let me find it so I can pull it up here for reference. Okay. Uh, so 
I, I just didn't want to get rid of that. I, I'm really trying to function on just a couple hours of sleep. So what popped out? Y'all had two cards also that popped out. They popped out up on the um, uh, upright, so I guess I'm taking it. Um, I will tell you that Sagittarius of Fire Signs got this with the Earth Element reading. So if, if you Fire Signs are dealing with any kind of Gemini's, inside outside or looking in in a situation this is also air coming out here but uh if this is a legal matter of any kind or or just uh whatever it is there's somebody trying to hold truth down but somebody's gonna get the victory there's victory here the, the chariots here uh so this energy right here if this is the law coming in in some way shape or form or somebody spoke a really forceful truth in a situation because it needed to come out. Look at that thing. That's what I said. Uh, I did a video just yesterday on this thing. And that's like brutal. Like you come near me. I know the truth. And I'm going to hide that thing. And I will I will bite you and put my damn venom in you. If you think you're going to come near me, it ain't happening. And this is why this energy has come in here. in a higher authority. Because it's somebody in authority as well. Uh, come in and speak a thing and uh, take care of this thing and uh, win a situation. Now this is a uh, card of cancer, but it's also Jupiter energy with it. And so if you're talking about your life, because I was just saying I, I heard with because that r rules over the liver. Uh, then somebody's had to fight for their own life and uh, put up that sort of truth and cut away the bull crap that's been trying to be hid or locked down for some reason you're going to get victory uh, so fire with Gemini situations victory's coming within that um, I want to put that out here keep that there alright fire fire with Libra energy and we've got big air also coming out here still and air showing up with Gemini. So Gemini and Libra, this could just be one big read also. Okay, we got one that just popped out. Uh, we have Seven of Cups, so fire with Libra energy. There's a lot of choices going on here and in confusion, and this will cut away any kind of confusion. Um, this is like clear-minded, being very clear-minded and knowing what to do and the truth of a matter in something that maybe possibly has or is... Uh, um, confusing to you uh, trying to figure out what you want to do um, what needs to be said uh, this water energy cancer Scorpio Pisces um, so you could be dealing with one of them uh, energies uh, or they're outside looking in or they're involved in a situation but uh, somebody hasn't known what to do in a situation but you're going to know what to do because this sword is up information here and like I said we've got air right next to Gemini energy as well and there's victory here with that so, fire with Libra energy. That is your card. Fire with Aquarius. What's coming out for fire with the? I mean, y'all just getting it. Now, there's that uh, five of uh, pentacles again that just popped over. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold with another person. All right. Fire with Aquarius. We've got the Nine of Cups. Now, this could be a couple of different things. This is going to be overindulgence and somebody knowing about it, speaking about it, you need help about it. Or, uh, for the up and up, this is a wish fulfillment. Truth, when it comes out, it will always, if, if, some, if you, because uh, um, we have water connected here with Libra, and because air is the overall energy, we can take all this energy together on this read. And um, so if there had been overindulgence in the past or something happened because of overindulgence, then the truth's coming out. Truth's going to get involved with the situation. And a wish fulfillment is what this card is. Uh, fire with Aquarius. Um, that's good. That's a wish fulfillment. That's beautiful when the truth comes out. It sets you free, right? And then you get to celebrate. It's also a card of celebrating. Beautiful. All right, let's move on. <laughs> let's go to the water energy. Fire with water. Steamy energy. Fire with water. Speaking a matter. With that Queen of Swords. Very sharp energy. But truthful. Very profitable energy here. Fire with water. What do we need to know? Home issues with water. It's, uh, water can all be connected to the moon. Uh, mother issues, things like that being spoken of. 
um, just cutting away bull crap that has been in the night. Okay, we've got uh, the Two of Swords. If you're dealing with a cancer fire or you have cancer in your chart or you're dealing and looking at a situation where a person is uh, a cancer uh, and you're just somebody looking on the outside, there's choices being made. Fire signs, if you're dealing with a cancer, trying to really figure out what do I need to do. Which way do I go? Here is the moon showing up right here, and there's water here. And so it's emotional, and you're trying to get grounded on either side of the situation here. And uh, that's a good thing that the uh, Queen of Swords is here to cut away the bull crap. Now, there's three swords here now. Two of them are down in the ground, and one is up. So something's obviously been very emotional, very hurtful in a situation because the Three of Swords is the broken heart right and uh, but there's decisions that uh, either you've just been stuck in a stalemate kind of a mode I don't know what to do and I've just been sitting here well the Queen of Swords is the overall energy and so uh, something's gonna come along and truth's gonna be spoken you're gonna be able to break free from a thing and which is a good thing uh, so that's beautiful clear-mindedness so when, when you couldn't have clear or, or you didn't have clear-mindedness or you're finding yourself there just rest assured stand in your integrity the Creator will give you uh, the information uh, to know what to do all right all right so fire with uh, Scorpio if you're dealing with Scorpio energy We've got the Queen of Wands, so your own elements coming up here, or you could have another, uh, uh, the, the Scorpio could have fire in their chart somewhere, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or you, or like I said, you can play with the energies, or it, you're, you know where you're at. So the Queen of Wands, she takes action, right? Uh, this now is two queens overall energy if this queen of wands is this energy right here she's speaking passionate truth about situation uh or this is you a fire sign this is your element so you are you are doing this or another fire sign you're dealing with is doing this where earth or, or where air energy maybe there is earth that, uh, that you're connected with um and uh, there is uh, truth in a very passionate, forceful, uh, upright manner coming to the surface and blazing forth. And uh, this is somebody who um, it's got knowledge of things as well. The cat can represent seeing things in the night, right? Uh, they, they're really good at, you know, uh, seeing stuff in the night and blazing forth. Fire will burn, but it will purify, right? Fire signs. Uh, this could be information, you know, front stage stuff. Uh, energy. If this person is another fire sign that just has Scorpio in their chart, but this is a fire dealing with Scorpio. But like I said, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this person is uh, somebody who is also known because it still is a queen energy as well. Very vibrant, uh, very sure of uh, their element that they sit in. They're not a child. It's a queen there. All right, so fire, if you're dealing with a Pisces... Oh, I gotta hurry up. You have the Eight of Pentacles, uh, Pisces. In the, now, this is Earth energy. They could have Earth in your chart, like I said. But fire dealing with Pisces. This is a um, situation with being clear-minded on a job situation, or you know what you want to do for a living, or um, something like that. Being very grounded. You know you need to be grounded in a situation. Maybe there's been confusion around a situation, and you just haven't known what to do, or you've just been showing up, and your boss is uh, paying attention, and under, having understanding of what you do or how you work or or uh, you just know that you want to make an investment of some kind and, uh, you know, um, signing contracts or something like that, being very grounded in what you do. That's, that's very positive energy. Uh, so that is fire with water. Now fire with earth. those other cards out uh, I wanted to correspond like the parts of the body and stuff too but oh I guess if I say it then it was meant to be said if I don't then it wasn't so fire with earth signs fire if you're dealing with a Virgo 
and or if they have air in their chart or there's a, uh, some type of truth coming out uh, around the situation or somebody's being sharp or sharp minded there's a lot coming out here I just seen the high priestess as well and uh, got cards flying everywhere <laughs> so fire dealing with the Virgo what do they need to know Okay, fire, dealing with a Virgo, there's a four of wands, something very passionate, and somebody else just got this as well uh, in the earth reading, so uh, I think it was Leo, <laughs> so if you're dealing with the situation uh, concerning home and celebration and house, and and uh, this is also 11-11, so the 11th house is justice, which is still air energy coming out real strong, and the 11th uh, higher canon would be justice, and so somebody could be getting justice within a home situation, truth could be coming out and you make me feel good I want to celebrate with you I know what I want in this family kind of a thing this is this is um, like I said family situations um, finally getting clarity within a family situation getting justice within a family situation very passionate energy getting stable within your passions and knowing what you want to blaze forth and what you can say to somebody or or something like that or you're seeing something you know because of the celebration that means other people are involved it can be something social as well all right guys uh let's see fire with the taurus energy fire with taurus energy we've got the temperance card and so fire this is the uh the Sagittarian ninth house and so you're uh, showing up here with Taurus energy um, being very tempered very sure of what is being said this is also being accommodating this is also alchemizing this is higher learning higher education travel um, this is karmic energy here this is foreign people foreign places uh, just learning new things it's spirituality and knowing uh, having clarity within in knowledge and getting balance within it and everything in moderation so however that energy is playing out for you and let's see fire dealing with uh, Capricorn I'm also getting here that uh, the you know because Taurus represents uh, marriages and uh, bank systems and uh, institutions and things like that. And so if there had been anything within a marriage and needing balance within something, uh, it's some type of truth. Something's being spoken. Something's being sharp. Some something's being coming with a lot of clarity in the situation uh, surrounding uh, this uh, energy here. Um, learning information, teaching information, stuff like that. Fire with Capricorn. Okay, this one wants to come out. We've got the Ten of Cups. That's happy fulfillment energy here. Uh, that's beautiful, you know, and knowing you know absolutely sitting uh, there and having a clear mind what you want you're absolutely balanced within uh, the uh, emotion uh, side of what's happening Either you're, you're this or you're looking at this or you're sharing this with people or they're looking at you like this and very clear about what they're seeing this is happy this is like uh, I'm over the top fulfilled in my emotions and, I, and I'm uh, it's also celebrating there's two people here uh, you could have got married and there's a baby there too um, congratulations you got the whole kit and caboodle and the dog sitting there and the baby and uh, you know whether if you I don't know what your age is maybe you can't you can you know have any more babies or whatever but this is projects and stuff as well being very creative water is very very creative uh, 10 is also a cycle uh, as well and uh, this is happy happy joy joy big time and knowing it and having clarity or you just came out of energy like this out of a divorce or something like that and you're looking back into a situation or you're looking at a situation uh, that is being spoken about within a family here but the, uh, it looks good it looks real good because truth is uh, is profitable for you and I so there you go guys I hope that was helpful um, Overall truth is, is going to reign because that is the overall general uh, energy here. Temperance is here. A happy, uh, you, got, you guys got two happy 
uh, situations going on here and uh, travel and all kinds of stuff come out for you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Until next time, we'll see ya.